Hey everyone, Sam here from Sugar Spun Run, and today I'll be showing you how to make chocolate ganache two different ways. Chocolate ganache is one of my favorite things to use to top off a cake, and today I'm going to show you how simple it is to make. Not only that, I'm going to show you two easy ways to make chocolate ganache at home. Now, whichever method you choose to use, you're going to need the same ingredients. You'll need a cup of chocolate chips. This is six ounces of chocolate chips, or instead of chocolate chips, you can use six ounces of chocolate that's been cut into pieces that are all about the same size. You're going to want them to be about the size of a chocolate chip. You're also going to need one half cup of heavy cream. Now, for this first method I wanna show you, you're going to need a small saucepan, and we'll place our saucepan on the stove top. Now, don't turn it on just yet. What we're going to do is we'll add one cup of chocolate chips into the saucepan, and we'll add our half cup of heavy cream, and we'll turn our stove top to low, and we're going to cook this on a very low heat, stirring pretty frequently until the chocolate is completely melted, the mixture should be nice and cohesive and silky looking, and the whole mixture should be smooth. This is personally my favorite method because I only have to use one saucepan, it's really simple. Now it's really important when making your chocolate ganache this way that you don't walk away from your stove top. You don't wanna give that chocolate any chance to burn to the bottom of the pan. That'll ruin your ganache, you'll have to toss it out and start over. So watch your pan the whole time. So at this point, now that it's all silky and smooth, your chocolate ganache is done. You're going to want to remove this from the heat and you can immediately pour it over a cake. Personally, I recommend letting it sit for about 10 minutes or so, so it's not quite so runny. This ganache is really going to firm up as it sits. And ultimately, once it's cooled completely, it's going to be pretty much solid. It's gonna have a fudgy consistency. If you've had ganache before, you know what I'm talking about. So that's one way to make chocolate ganache. So now I wanna show you a different way that I like to make it. The other way, this is a more traditional way, what you'll want to do is you'll want to measure out your chocolate into a medium-sized heat-proof bowl. Again, you're going to need six ounces of chocolate or one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. So you're gonna put this in a bowl and you're gonna set this aside. And then we're going to head back to our stove top. You're going to need that same small saucepan, hopefully a clean one, and we are going to add a half cup of cream again. Now we're not going to be adding our chocolate into the saucepan this time. What we're going to do is we're just going to heat this cream over a medium to low heat just until it begins to simmer. Once the cream is simmering, we're going to remove that from the heat and we'll pour it evenly over those chocolate chips that we prepared earlier. Now don't try mixing this just yet. You're going to need to let that cream have some time with that chocolate to melt it. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cover this bowl with a piece of aluminum foil. This is really going to help trap that heat in. If you don't have aluminum foil, you can place a lid over the bowl or even a towel over it to help trap that in, that'll help. Now you're going to let this sit for about three to five minutes. Once that three to five minutes has passed, now we can remove our aluminum foil and you'll want to use a whisk to stir this. Now, you want to start gradually stirring from the center and gradually move out. You can see it looks a little piecey right now. It's going to come together, don't panic. And just keep slowly whisking until the mixture is smooth and silky. So just like with the first chocolate ganache I showed you, this is going to be really thin to start and it'll thicken up as it sets. So you do wanna pour it over any cake while it's still more liquidy and then it'll firm up as it cools. You can put it in the fridge to really speed up the chilling process and the solidifying process. Okay, so that is how you make chocolate ganache. This is the version you just watched me make, the more traditional way by simmering the cream and then pouring it over the chocolate. And here is that first batch we made um, by combining the chocolate and cream together and cooking them that way. So as you can see, either way is going to yield great results. So use whichever method works best for you. I really hope you guys enjoy today's chocolate ganache recipe. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. So am I supposed to bite this now? Hey, if you guys enjoyed today's easy chocolate ganache recipe, I would really appreciate it if you would give me a thumbs up. Please be sure to hit that notification bell and please subscribe. If you guys enjoyed this recipe, here are a few others you might like as well.